what we're calling the, the FG knot. That's what I'm tying here. So it's a join um, braid to mono or braid to fluoro. Basically doing seven wraps either side, tightening it down. Another seven wraps either side, tightening down. Um, so you're hitching the braid over the mono. The so harder the fish pulls or harder you pull on the on the mono and the braid, the braid will crimp down onto the mono filament. day out of Robin Island on the beautiful vessel Mirage. 
And uh, yeah, stand by for some more fishing action. In your skip. Get a you fish now, bro.
turn him, hold him there. Give us a turn him. Play me, give a smile with him. Come stand you. Give him a kiss. <laughs> Bro, go stand by. I don't want to skip out the top. Oh, what? Oh! Right to the bridge! This fish has got a bit more gears than the other ones. Look at Anya. I don't know, somewhere, somewhere there, bro. Don't go out there with it. Really. Today. I'd be fish, okay, man. This one's going back in the water. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Easy way to fillet the tail. Coming from the side, yeah. Okay, so we just went to a nice incision down next to the spine. Try to leave all that bone on the carcass. What's, what's nice about the, the guts or the datums, if I say, is um, if you're doing a lot of like offshore fishing or baiting for fish, this is nice to keep as a as a chump. So what I'll do now is I'll put that into a mesh bag and I'll put it into the freezer and freeze it. Try to build up quite a nice amount into the mesh bag, and next time you go to sea, you just throw that over the side, and that creates a nice chump slick in the water to bring the fish to your boat. Yes, my good friend, next friend of brilliant job for letting it. I'm not so good at that, but I'm going to take it home and I'm going to make a decent thing yet fish carry out. Enough, that's fantastic, that's perfect. So what we're gonna do is the Indian fish curry. Beautiful, sounds very good. Like I said, we'll just put this bad boy straight onto ice. And then we'll take out another fillet. That's barely fat. That's nice to fry up this thing. That will make a nicer uh, slide bait for the sharks. So yeah, for the bronzy fishermen on the beach, it's a good one to keep. Hey, great, so here we've got a nice little piece of yellow tail, and uh, we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, sashimi on the boat. So importantly, when you're cutting sashimi on a fish, just look at the grain that's running through the fish's meat. With the knife, you're gonna be following that grain, and it's gonna give you nice slithers of sashimi. Like that, so I'm just gonna follow the grain with the knife, and cut a species of sashimi. Yes, 
Sumi. Sobe. Soy sauce. That's like your salt, huh? So yeah, that's what I do. Just put a little bit of soil on. Just a bit of soy. Mmm. Yellowtail sashimi. Very nice. Very nice. Are you? Nick? Yeah. Come. A bit of wasabi. Mmm. A lot of people don't think you can chow this sashimi. It's tuna, tuna, tuna. We're going to make a little um, petonko here yeah, or soda soda. Same thing, just cut around that little pectoral fin. Okay, your petonko fillet. So you got this little bone that's running an actual line here. That's mainly the fish's nervous system on these guys. So that whole nerve and bone side. So what you do here is you just cut like a V all the way down the side. And then again, from this side, just cut a little V, keeping the bone in the middle of the V. And then you can literally grab this end. The whole lot will come out. Okay, great. So for him, yeah, we've got a nice piece of uh, sada sada here, or katonko fillet, which you're going to be doing on the gas fryer on the boat. Okay. And uh, it's the best way to cook your fish. Freshest, it tastes the nicest. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do a bit of like some olive oil, a um, bit of balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and we're going to splash a bit of lime, uh, lime and lemon juice onto it. Put a bit of olive oil on to begin with. Cover it nicely. So, so you grill it skin side down? We're gonna it? grill skin side down first, yeah. Especially with the gas fry, it's a closed fry, so it's like a Weber fry. So it's gonna contain the heat inside the fry, and it's gonna actually bake our fish on top oh, and grill it from underneath, yeah. Okay, and then we can do a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, just a bit of lemon and lime. Beautiful. Okay, and then do you want me to put on some of the fish? And then we're going to put a little bit of uh, Ima Palman's fish spice. It's fantastic stuff. Right. Okay, it's about three, four minutes into it and looking good. <laughs> Come tuck in. Mm. How's that? That was a good one, eh? It was a great one. Brilliant. out at Robin Island spinning for Yellowtail and we got lucky so uh, with the help of my friend Nick on the boat he filleted some nice uh, Yellowtail fillet for me and uh, with the help of my beautiful mom 55 years of Indian cooking experience we're gonna make what we call the traditional Indian curry fish curry that is and as you can see on the table we've got all the spices laid out and all the ingredients that we're going to be using to do this and uh, obviously uh, it's a little bit spicy because there's got a bit of chili chili powder involved and uh, yeah so my mom's going to help us get this on the stove and get the fish curry going and hopefully we can show you uh, 
uh, a good dish at the end of the day so yeah enjoy okay guys so over here we've got the freshly cut up yellowtail into smaller chunks uh, in this bowl we've got some curry leaf and some coriander and then we've got some garlic over here over this is some cumin turmeric chili powder we've got some fish spice over here and then it's just one and a half onions just chopped up and then we've got two and a half tomatoes as well just finely diced over here we've got some green chili and like i said it's going to be a bit spicy and then some tomato paste just to add to the color and then over here we've got some lemon juice so all these ingredients is going to go into the pot now and i'll take you through the cooking process okay so we just put the onions into the pan now and we're going to simmer the onions a little bit and uh, to the onions we're going to just add some garlic and cook that off as well so we're just going to put in the chili powder now well we're going to add in all the spices because we've got to cook out the spices flavor so i just put in the chili powder and then in went the cumin we've got some fish spice turmeric and we're just going to release all that flavor and roast off the, the spice okay and to the spices now we're going to add the tomatoes so that's going to just infuse all the flavors of the spices as we go along Okay, just put in a tablespoon of salt and we're gonna just let this simmer a little bit until the tomatoes cooks nice and soft. Okay, so the uh, all these ingredients have been sort of simmering away for about 10 minutes now so the tomatoes are cooking a little bit soft so I'm just gonna add in some tomato paste to add a little bit of color to it and then just a little bit of lemon juice just to bring out the zing uh, to add that little bit of a tang and then we're going to just simmer it away again. Okay, so the masala is almost ready and it's been cooking away for a while now. So I'm just going to be adding in the fish. This fish doesn't really take that long to cook, but we want to allow it to take on the flavor of the lovely roasted masala that is in the pan currently so once all that is in we're just going to give it a good stir so it coats the fish nicely and uh, then we're going to put the lid on and let it cook away so we're just going to just cover that a, a little bit and let the masala just cover or coat the fish and then we're going to cover it up and let the pan do its trick uh, without too much of interference guys this has now been on for another seven or eight minutes uh, since i lost the uh, open the uh, or put in the pit so to this now i'm just going to add the green chili uh, the curry leaf and the coriander this is sort of the final garnish which is going to just boost that flavor and in a few minutes uh, we should be ready to enjoy a nice hot plate of fish curry on, for supper okay guys so the fish curry is cooked and uh, the end result is on the table so this meal is now going to be enjoyed by my beautiful family and my pretty mother who was instrumental in helping me put this dish together so uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my fish curry and uh, hope you like my video and yeah hope you guys can try it as well so enjoy is it nice very nice